Welcome back to another great video, you guys. I'm Champagne, your licensed esthetician, and I help other solo estheticians and estheticians, beginners, expiring, win, okay, and others with their skincare and beauty needs. So today's video, as you guys can see from the topic, we're going to be talking about the top tips for passing the esthetician licensing exam. You know, that's like the most thing that us estheticians want to do. We want to get in the class, do the class, the hands-on experience, practices, theory we want to get all that done so we can just pass the test and get the work so stay tuned because we're going to be talking about some top tips as you know passing the license exam is a crucial 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 step to becoming a professional esthetician why because this validates your knowledge and skills allowing you to practice legally and confidently so you don't have to be trying to worry about i can't talk about this because i'm not licensed to talk about it i know a lot of times we could get hung up on that you could be smart really great great educator but you just haven't yet got your license and that's okay as long as you get your license it just validates it just gives you that extra trust and credibility as always I'm going to be sharing some effective ways to prepare for the exam hopefully this helps ease your anxiety levels hopefully it makes you a little bit more comfortable you guys take your time that's why I say take your time and just really do what you need to do to prepare for the exam one effective way to prepare yourself is to create a study schedule okay you want to be able to allocate specific times each day to focus on different topics so basically let's say today topic i'm only going to be focusing on skincare techniques okay so that's what you're dedicating your day to you're going to learn you're going to take notes you're going to ingrate it in your brain so kind of break it down and allocate specific times each day to focus on different topics if that makes sense so another way you can prepare is use study guides. I'm a big firm believer of study guides. They work, they just work and they work for a lot of people. And you can invest in like a study guide that cover all exam topics. So like a comprehensive study guide that covers everything you can think of. Uh, when it comes to exams. Okay, another way you can effectively prepare is to take practice tests. You guys, I actually did take some practice tests online. Some of them maybe were on there or they probably were reworded different, differently, but they do allow you to at least get in your comfort zone to be ready to take that test. Practice tests helps you get familiar with exams format, you know, and help you identify areas that you may need improvement in. And so therefore, if, if you kept getting the wrong question wrong, you can kind of go re research that question and try to find the answer to that question that you kind of was having a hard time with. The okay. next effective way to prepare is to join study groups. Now I didn't really so much do that, but I did speak with my like colleagues in school school like just a few just two really and we kind of like talked a little bit about services that we done just to see if we're doing them right or if they have another uh, outlook on the service now again when I was in school many people didn't they weren't really friendly to share their notes so it was kind of like you knew who you knew and that was it but anyway when you join study groups collaborating with your peers can really enhance your understanding and provide support for you okay and the last way to effectively prepare you can attend review classes and so what that is is basically some schools may offer classes specifically designed to prepare you for the exam now I personally never done it, done that but there are some out there I'm assuming that could potentially help you with that honestly I don't think you need to go that route if you just do one through four you'll be good I do want to as always provide some additional tips to ensure that you are successful when it comes time to prepping yourself for this exam again start studying early and avoid cramming don't cram you guys give yourself time give yourself some breathing room some breathing space to actually study and learn what it is you need to learn another, another tip focus on understanding concept rather than memorizing facts I'm guilty of it okay I'm guilty of like okay this stands for this trying to memorize certain words that fits the definition yeah that helps when passing but you do want to get an understanding of the concept as a whole and sometimes that takes time, you know, but try to do that instead of memorizing the facts. Okay, okay. another tip, take care of your health and get plenty of rest before the exam. This is true. You don't want to be operating on two to three hours of sleep when you got to take that exam. You want to be make sure you're well rested, you're well hydrated, and you have something to eat to have mental clarity, okay? okay? And, then and then you also want to stay positive and confident in your abilities. So don't start thinking negative about yourself. Don't start thinking down like you're going to 
drop this test you're gonna bomb this test you guys i'm not a great test taker don't get in your feelings don't get in emotional if you don't pass the test you can retake it if you don't pass the first time but again try to keep a positive attitude and mindset on your abilities okay and use relaxation techniques and manage exam stress relax be stress free get a massage the day before you take the test try to do things that make you happy before you take the test so you can prepare and be really ready and focused and hone in on the things that you need to prepare for for this test so do those steps and you should be good to take that state licensing exam for becoming a statistician i'll leave some links down below if possible that i feel that would probably be beneficial for you guys when taking the test maybe some links things you can kind of like look for or get extra help before taking the test i'll leave some links down below and as always good luck to everyone preparing for the exam if you found this video helpful please be sure to like and subscribe for more esthetician tips and resources and i'll see you guys back with another great video soon bye